Hi, everyone. We just published this article of mine at cloud4.com talking about a problem that I've seen on a lot of e-commerce websites um, where the hero images, the product images, sort of the main image on the website, the thing that you um, that you would expect to be the most important image on the page, that image is being lazy loaded. And there are a lot of problems with doing this. Um, it not only affects the user experience, but it also will affect your search engine optimization rankings and your sort of perceived performance on the site. So the article goes into a little bit more detail and gets a little technical. I, I tried to write it so that anyone could follow along, but um, I know that there is a little bit of code in there. So I wanted to provide you know, shop owners, uh, merchants with something that was not technical that could help them figure out if this is a problem going on with your site. So I'm going to show you a couple of ways to check for this on your own website. Um, so first off, just to talk briefly about what lazy loading means, the idea is that um, if we're looking at a page like this, you know, with a lot of information on it, and we get all the way down here to the bottom, and we might have an image or these little icons or things of that nature, those images, if somebody doesn't scroll all the way to the bottom, they may never see those images there is no reason to download them. And in particular, we don't want those to download ahead of more important things that are higher up on the page. So what lazy loading says is, hey, just don't load these things as early as they might otherwise load. Um, and it's a performance technique that makes web pages feel faster. Okay, so that's the background. Um, so what are the, what's the problem with it? Well, if you take a website like this, this is an example from in the article. Um, Mongoose has this really, really cool retro bike. Um, and this image here um, is the most important image on the page. Um, and I'll show you in a moment how we can figure out that it's actually being lazy loaded. But first, I, I want to say that the first indicator that you'll have that you may have an image that's getting lazy loaded is that if you take this URL, you know, URL for your page, and you put it into PageSpeed Insights, which is pagespeed.web.dev, and you do some analysis on it. Um, if you see the largest contentful paint is problematic, it doesn't necessarily mean that your images are getting lazy loaded, but it could be one of the reasons why your largest contentful paint is larger than it should be. So I want to show you a couple things in this um, dashboard, like you may get pointed to this multiple times. Um, first off, you've got this section up here, which is what your real users are experiencing. And then you've got down below, you've got information on, you know, what a sort of baseline report might be for your site. So in this case, you'll notice there's a pretty big discrepancy between what's down reported down here for the largest contentful paint. Um, and the largest contentful paint is the is the biggest change that somebody might see on the web page. So in this case, um, it's going to be probably when that image of the bike loads. Um, it's reporting 13.9 seconds, and up here it's around three seconds. And this difference can't be because um, there are, in this case, the demographics of this website uh, or this web page is such that the people who are accessing it on their phones probably are more affluent, are on faster networks, and thus um, their their phones are probably downloading this information more quickly. Um, sometimes you'll see actually that the um, that the numbers here, in terms of the largest contentful paint from sort of a synthetic artificial metric, um, is actually faster than what the real users are experiencing. So looking at both of them is good um, information. And another thing to be careful of when you're looking at page speed insights is whether or not you're getting data for the specific page, right? The super goose page or whether you're getting information for the origin. So for example, on this page here, if we go and we look at page speed insights, what you'll see is that this URL is grayed out. And that's because there's not enough data to bring in information for this page specifically. Um, and so the only information we actually have is down here in this performance section, the sort of test that's run as you load the page. 
Um, so if we hit analyze, we'll see that um, it's going to go and do this performance. I'm not going to wait for that though. Let's go back over here to PageSpeed Insights for the Super Goose page. Um, we see that we've got almost 14 seconds for largest contentful paint. So let's go ahead and actually see what's causing that. Um, we can come down here and it sh says show audits related to. And we're going to select LCP for largest contentful paint. And if we get down here, one of the things we're going to look for is this section that says what is the largest contentful paint element? Um, and this will tell us what the browser thinks was the biggest change. Like what made, this is what they measure for largest contentful paint. They're looking for what was the biggest visual change for the page. Um, and in this case, we can see that it is that bike image. Um, and that's really nice because now we can grab, um, in this case, I'm going to grab part of the URL of that particular image so that I can search for it. I copied and pasted it, or not pasted, just copied it um, so I'd have access to it. Um, the other thing is, is that sometimes you don't have to go any further. Like I can see right here that it says lazy sizes and lazy loaded. And that's a really, really good indication that this is actually an image that is lazy loaded. But just in case it isn't that clear, I'm going to show you over here. We've got this web page. If I right click on this image, it'll give me the option to inspect it. And that will open it up in what's called the dev tools, developer tools inside of Chrome or whatever browser you're using. So again, you don't have to understand all this code. You just have to know that this is the image. It's right here. You clicked on it. And again, we're going to see lazy auto sizes, lazy loaded, loading equals lazy. All of these clues that this image is being loaded um, sort of late. Another thing you can do is if you go to the network panel and then you reload the page, this particular thing here shows you all of the assets, all of the files, whether they're HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, all of the things that are getting downloaded by the web page. Sometimes when I don't know yet what an image is and I don't know sort of where it is in the priority, I'll click on this and I'll switch over to this preview tab. And then you could just click the down arrow and just click through these, right? So here are a couple images, right? There was a lot of code and then Oh, we've got a world image, an icon image, mongoose. Just going to keep clicking, clicking, clicking. Uh, a bunch of other images. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for that big hero image. Like how many things are downloading before that, that big product hero image downloads? Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of things getting downloaded um, a lot of images. Um, as a matter of fact, some of these, right, like these images are images that are actually in the menus. So unless you hover over them, you don't even see them, which is pretty problematic. They don't even show up. Um, one of the things that's kind of cool in this, you can go and you can simulate different phones and stuff. And so if you're in on a phone, like those, these little images from the menu, they still get downloaded and yet nobody can ever even see them. So not only do they download stuff that doesn't matter and it wastes bandwidth and ah, there it is. That's what we were looking for. So you can see all of that stuff is getting loaded ahead of this image because this image is being lazy loaded. And in fact, we don't want it to be lazy loaded. If anything, this should be one of the first things getting downloaded. I don't know that it would be the second thing after the HTML document, but you know, it should be like in the top 10 probably. So that's how you look. Um, you can right click on an image and look for the words lazy. Um, it's really, it's pretty, pretty simple there. Or look at PageSpeed Insights. Sometimes you'll see it in, in there. Um, worst case scenario, you can, you know, look at how far in the network panel that that particular image downloads. Um, if that image isn't showing up high in that network panel, then you probably have a little bit of an issue that you could get addressed. Um, um, if your main images, the images are, that are high on your page, above the fold, as it were, if they are lazy loading, you don't want that. You want those to actually load as quickly as possible. Um, so talk to your talk to your team about that. Um, or if you need help, talk to us. We'd love to help you.
Thanks.